Once we've added a trigger, we can then add conditions to it. Remember that all the conditions must return true in order for the trigger to truly fire. The first condition we'll take a look at is timeline running. Use this condition to determine if a timeline is currently running. Running is defined as being between the start and end of the timeline. So a timeline that is holding at end is not running. This condition can be useful if you want to only start a timeline that is not already running. Once you've added this condition, you have the option to select a particular timeline, and then choose whether it's running or not running by using the negate function. Timeline on stage functions in a very similar way. Use this condition to determine if a timeline is currently affecting the output of the controller. It will be true as long as one fixture patched to this controller is being controlled by the timeline. It does not matter whether the timeline is running or held at end. Like timeline running, timeline on stage allows you to select a timeline and choose whether to negate or not. Scene on stage is very similar except for it's referring to scenes instead of timelines. Use this condition to determine if a scene is currently affecting the output of the controller. It will be true as long as one fixture patched to this controller is being controlled by the scene. Simply select the scene and then choose whether to negate or not.